Hey there, and welcome back to Mastering Kinemaster Tutorials narrated in English. It's been a little while since I did one of these because I'm a little bit freaked out about COVID, but I'm going to get back into doing it from my new home studio. And so today what I chose to show you guys is how to do a green screen or a chroma key. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how my inexpensive home chroma key studio is set up, and I am going to show you how to do a chroma key. Now, of course, what is a chroma key? A chroma key is what's going on right here, is the background behind me actually is not what's going on. and I'm going to snap my fingers and show you what's really going on is I'm sitting in front of a green screen, hence the name a green screen. So one thing, remember, if you like my content, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends who make videos and subscribe to my channels. All right. I'm going to talk a little bit about how green screening works and what it is. And then I'm going to show you the studio and then I'm going to show you how to do it in Kin KineMaster. So hold on and let's just get into the conversation. All right, so green screening is simply the removal of a color from behind you. It doesn't necessarily need to be green. If your favorite color to wear is green, then you can get a bright blue screen and work with blue or something like pink. It might be challenging because pink is in your face, but there are other colors that you can use. And KineMaster is great because KineMaster recognizes a color of your choice. In fact, KineMaster is an amazing solution for this. I've used high-end expensive solutions and they're much harder to use and sometimes they don't recognize things quite easily. KineMaster works great for this. And so another thing to think about when you're doing green screening is you may notice that my background generally is black. My intro background is black and oranges. So I never wear a black shirt because it would look weird in that. Um, and so I also, I'm going to, at the end of this, I'm going to show you what it looks like for me to wear a green shirt in front of my green screen. And you will see why if green's your favorite color, you're not going to want to do that. Now, with all of that said, Let's just walk into the Mastering KineMaster Studios and you can see what my setup looks like and I'll show you how inexpensive it is. So let's move forward and get into the studio. All right, so welcome. This is the studio. This is in my house. I do it in my RV a lot, but obviously I'm in my house right now. So let's just real quick is that this is a big sheet of a material that's made out of the stuff that Jersey t-shirts are made out of. This was available at a fabric store and this piece cost me eight bucks. This is all I use. By the way, this technique is only for head and upper body shots. It's a lot more complicated to do full scenes with standing up. You need the floor done. You need more lights. Um, this works really better for upper body and upper half body. Okay. So that piece of fabric cost me eight bucks. Uh, and like I said, is you could get a blue one, a pink one, you could get more multiple ones to do different color knockouts. The only other thing that I have here, I got these clamps for a buck at the dollar store. One, two, and another little one, all three of them. Three dollars, I got them. I know they have them at Home Depot. I don't know if they always have them at the dollar store, but Home Depot has them for a couple bucks as well. So that for me was like 10 bucks right there. And then this is really critical is I have the ring light here and it's set up. I have it set up on this tripod, which is a more professional tripod. However, this ring light came with a set with a tripod that works not quite as well as this one. And it was only 40 bucks at Best Buy for the combination set. And that's all I need. Now you'll notice the rest of the room has my blinds are closed and my lights are on in an ambient fashion. What you don't want is you don't want like a single point source. If you're doing it during the day, you don't want the sun coming in from one window because shadows are what you're trying to keep your shadows down. Now, the cool thing about KineMaster is that KineMaster actually is really good with knocking out shadows in a way that Adobe doesn't do it quite as easily. And I'm going to show you how that works once we get into it. But I've got a stool here. I have my second camera set up there. And this is all it is. And then this is how I record. Um, and then we're going to show you the process of going through the software aspect of it. Uh, but you can set it up for super cheap. Like I said, this was 40 bucks worth of materials uh, and get rolling, making cool, fun, green screen stuff at your house. All right. Um, and last thing about this is that the good thing about this jersey material is it doesn't really need to be ironed. Um, I don't know if I said that, but this should be flat, but it doesn't have to be insanely flat. There's some wrinkles there. I just keep this well folded up, pull it out, bring it, hang it every time. Works great. All right. See you back in KineMaster, the application. 
Okay, and as promised, I am wearing a green shirt now. Does that look kind of strange? Uh, I hope that you learned something about setting up your own green screen studio. I had said in that video that I was going to move forward into the technical aspect and in KineMaster show you how to do it, but I realized that that was a really long video or an extra 10 minutes, so I'm making it into a separate video. So I'm closing this one out and feel free. The other one is part two, the technical aspect of doing a green screen video. And if you like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, check out that other one because it'll show you how to actually use your video now that you've made some green screen video. So go ahead and move on to that one, but I did separate them to make it easier to upload and to view. And have a good day and we'll see you in a couple of minutes in the other one. All right, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Can the master.